This is one of my favorite New Jersey urban legends, and a video that's been sitting in my draft since fall of 2021. But this story goes all the way back to fall of 1730. These are the legends of Holy Holy Holy, the Altar on the Mount, and the Witch's Well. Two urban legends reside on opposite ends of this mountain, overlooking the Mount Holly Cemetery in Mount Holly, New Jersey. On October 12, 1730, an article in the Pennsylvania Gazette claimed there was a recent witch trial in Mount Holly. It chronicled brutal tests and punishments. This article was most likely a hoax created by a young Ben Franklin poking fun at those who held superstitious beliefs. His prank was unfortunately at the expense of the townspeople. From here, stories spiraled. First, we see an altar with the words Holy, Holy, Holy inscribed on it. Many believe this altar was where the town hanged the accused witches. And we will come back to this. In 1909, there was a surge of Jersey Devil sightings many in Mount Holly. One legend says the Jersey Devil is chained inside this altar, and if you put your ear against it, you may even hear the clanking and scratching of chains against the stone. Some even say the altar is just covering a deep pit to hell. I don't look great, but I'm gonna record myself putting my ear to holy, holy, holy. Ew. You're supposed to hear the Jersey Devil. Oh, really? <laughs> Allegedly, the woman who summoned and was killed by the Jersey Devil before he was caught and chained up is buried in the cemetery at the bottom of the mountain. As for the supposed witch trials, one folktale says the witch who started this practice in town was thrown down a well on the other side of this mountain. We now know this structure as the witch's well. She didn't die instantly. She begged for help, screaming and pounding on the well walls until her hands were bloody. Weird New Jersey reports that even after her death, townspeople could still hear her cries for help and the sounds of her bloody knuckles rapping on the walls. The shed you see here was later built atop the well to end the noises. But allegedly, if you go to the shed at night and knock on the walls, you will hear her knocking back for help. Today it's difficult to try this out for yourself unless you're willing to break the law. Here is our sad attempt. Well, That's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> Good try. Other real-life deaths and hauntings have been reported in this area as well. A historical marker we found near Holy 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 says the altar was actually built in 1935 by Protestant churches for Easter sunrise services. The altar today looks very different from the images shown. How and why did it change, and who inscribed Holy 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 on it? My beard uh, creak, creaking <laughs> on. We're just being, you know, we're cool. 